You guys have been so disciplined the first three games of the year, but in the first half you had three special teams penalties, and they affected all three drives in that first half. And then I think you eclipsed your average penalties and penalty yards in the first half alone. What what did you see in that first half in terms of how those penalties impacted the, the early game? Well, I thought obviously the special teams penalties always started us in bad field position, so you got to eliminate those. I mean, I haven't seen them on film to see if they were legit or not, uh, but we'll find out. One of the the only, I think the only real bad penalty was we got a personal foul penalty, and that's ridiculous. That's a lack of emotional control by one of our players. The rest of them, sometimes in special teams when you're blocking and. Those kind of things. Sometimes that stuff happens. Sometimes they call it. Sometimes they don't. Coach, you about the resiliency the team showed in the fourth quarter, just fighting back, trying to make that comeback. Well, I was happy that we we didn't give up at halftime. If that's what you mean, I was I was happy we didn't give up and tried to get back in the game. We just got back in the game too late. Um, but I thought the offense kind of moved the ball all day long. We just we just kind of didn't get in scoring position and didn't score enough points. I mean, if you'd have told me before the game we're going to hold them to 16 points on defense, I'd tell you we were going to win. Could you go off that topic, just your thoughts on how the defense played tonight altogether? Not good enough. It's never, it's never good enough if you lose. I mean, we gave up. We gave up some yards, but uh, somehow we made them kick field goals instead of scoring. I think they scored one touchdown on offense. I think the rest of them were field goals. So we we gave up some yardage, but we uh, when they got near the red zone, we were able to make them kick field goals, and that allows you to stay in the game. If those were touchdowns, the game would have been out of hand by the first half. I don't know what it exactly it had been. It had been forty to three or something. I'm just guessing, but. But uh, for the defense to hold him to field goals kept us in the game. And when you play a quarterback as skilled as he is, if you can hold him to 16 points and keep your team in the game, that's not bad. Did you guys change anything offensively in the fourth quarter when uh, you started scoring the touchdowns? Uh, well, one of them was we threw a nice pass and caught it, and and he outran every, he outran everybody else. That's that's a good play. And then the other one is quarterback scrambled around forever and no one could tackle him. And he finally f finds a guy wide open in the end zone and he throws it to him and we get a touchdown. It was nothing designed. Our, well, the, the one where we throw and catch it, that's designed. And the receiver made it a good play by scoring the touchdown after he caught it, outran some people. The other one, that's not a designed play. That's, that's one of those freak plays that every once in a while you get lucky and they work. Rocky, what is your assessment of Agnes' play? I thought it was like uh, most of our team, very inconsistent. At times pretty good, and at times not good at all. Do you think he broke the pocket too much, or was that coverage in most cases? I don't know. I'll have to watch the film to tell you if he broke it too much. When you have, when you have a quarterback that's an athlete like he is and is used to doing that, you can't uh, tell him not to. And the times he scrambled around, they got us. He one of those touchdowns got us back in the game, and it was all his scrambling. You guys came out with that long drive to start the game, and then things changed offensively. Was there anything in particular you saw, or, you know, not converting third downs, anything in particular? No, I don't think anything particular. We started the game like we wanted to. We wanted to keep the ball away from them, and we wanted to gain yardage and get first downs and score some points. It's too bad it was a field goal, not a touchdown. And I think everything was going fine until we threw an interception that was run back for a touchdown. And all of a sudden, uh, our offense might have lost some confidence or something, you know. And when the game started the way we wanted to play it, and then all of a sudden we're playing from behind, it changed a little bit. Coach, what are some positives you can take into? You know, your, your next game after the bye, your defense did only hold them to three points in the second half. Well, there's no real positives because we lost. Uh, I still believe that our team can be a good football team. And maybe we were okay tonight, too, because Utah State's pretty good. I don't know how good they are, but they're pretty good. And they got an NFL quarterback, so that's a hard thing to contend with. So we lost to a good football team, and I believe that 
we can be a good football team. We've got to get a lot better in a lot of areas, but we can be a good football team. Rocky Jordan and Bird went out in the first half with make barely put weight on his foot, it looked like, and then goes to the locker room, comes back, and it's returning the kicks. Do you know what his injury is? Yeah, he's got turf toe. Turf toe, okay. So when they tape it exactly right, he can handle it. And then if the tape breaks or stretches or something, all of a sudden he can feel his toe again. So they take him back in there and retape his toe, and he's okay. Thank you. I thought it was an ankle when I saw him limping yeah, off, but it, but it's <laughs> he had the turf toe before this tonight's game. He got it last week. Thank you. What's the focus next week during the bye week? Uh, try to get better at fundamental things, and give some of the young guys a chance to play football. I mean, we'll go out there in full pads a couple of times, and the guys that aren't playing for us right now, we'll let them scrimmage a little bit so they get a feel for actually playing football. That's what they're here for instead of being a scout team. And they'll have fun, and everybody will have fun watching them play. It'll, it'll be sloppy, really sloppy, but it'll be fun for everybody that's doing it. But obviously, we've got to get better at our kicking game. We've got to do some things there so we don't get penalized. We've got to be more consistent on offense and – Score some more points than we're scoring. And then on defense, we got to cause turnovers. When we cause turnovers, we win. When we don't, we lose. Yeah, I guess the only thing we can kind of take positive from this is, you know, we didn't quit. Uh, we didn't fold and we had many chances too. So it was really good to see those guys, you know, keep fighting, doing everything we can to uh, win a football game. What do you guys have drawn up on that fourth and 10? Uh, the one we scored on? <laughs> or the last one? The last one. Uh, we had a play drawn up uh, to get one across the middle. Uh, I should have stayed in there a little longer and tried to deliver a throw. Got to, you know, give the receivers a chance rather than you know doing what I did. Could you talk about just that fourth down you passed to Kobe for the touchdown on? Just take us through that play. Uh, it was a miracle at that point. Um, Drop back. They, you know, played like a prevent defense, so nothing was really open. Uh, I just tried to buy enough time, try to find an open guy, and uh, Kobe made a great play uh, being open over there. And I was lucky to uh, deliver it to him, and he made a great play on it.